If you're a regular viewer of our EV news roundups, then you should be familiar with the Italian Volt company. They've been developing boutique motorcycles with battery electric powertrains since 2016. However, a series of unfortunate events delayed this process for many years. Luckily, after a change of ownership, Italian Volt is back on track and finally ready to start the production of the much-awaited La Cama motorcycle in Italy. The bike is offered in two variations, the one-seater Cafe Racer or the two-seater Street Fighter. Both variations are based on a single-piece aluminum frame that connects together with the aluminum swing arm, a multi-adjustable Olin's monoshock absorber, and a 43mm Olin's fork. The bikes are rolling on 17-inch rims with Brembo disc brakes and Pirelli Diablo Rosso 3 tires. The bike's electrified heart is represented by a PMSM axial flow motor with 111 kilowatts of peak output and 570 pound-feet of wheel torque. The powertrain is built on a 400-volt architecture that brings the CCS2 fast charging capabilities. The power output is sent to the rear wheel via a carbon belt thus letting the 434-pound machine sprint from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 3.4 seconds and continue onwards to the limited top speed of 142 miles per hour. The range estimations are said to be close to 160 miles in the urban riding cycle. The list of other noteworthy components and features includes a full-color 5-inch TFT display, a smartphone control app, lean-sensitive ABS and traction control system, keyless entry with an electric steering lock, and a bike customization service that lets you choose between 22 paint colors and seat trims. This new electric urban mobility vehicle packs some interesting specifications and exciting engineering solutions, but how does it compare to the other upcoming models, as well as those that are already available for purchase? Let's take a closer look. In order to produce a completely revolutionary motorcycle with a hubless design, the whole team of the Finnish Verge Motorcycles Company had to go through a variety of obstacles. Even though it was not easy, they managed to bring to the market a unique engineering product. Not only does the bike's hubless design look unusually stunning, it also generates some impressive performance figures. In its top configuration, Verge TS Ultra can generate 150 kilowatts of power output and 885 pound-feet of torque to the rear wheel. With such power plant output, you can sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour in under 2.5 seconds and reach the top speed of 124 miles per hour. With its massive 21.8 kilowatt-hour battery pack, the model still managed to keep the overall weight at the 540-pound mark. This battery unit promises up to 134 miles of highway riding and supports the CCS fast charging technology. The city riding cycle is more sparing on the battery and can give you up to 233 miles of riding. When using the DC Fast option, you can restore your battery to the 80% level in 25 minutes. The company is planning on entering the US market in the near future. They have been represented at the latest LA Auto Show and had the special TS Pro California Edition bike on display. The California Edition package gets you a two-tone fairing with a unique orange color scheme a perforated leather seat with a colored underlay, an Olin suspension system, and a special edition badging. After long years of waiting, India's first performance-oriented electric motorcycle is finally here. Ultraviolet F77 has a powerful sports design with three striking paint schemes, Airstrike, Shadow, and Laser. Besides three different paint schemes, Ultraviolet Company offers two powertrain configurations, Standard and Recon. The Standard powertrain features an electric motor with 27 kilowatts of peak output, 62 pound-feet of torque, and 87 mile-per-hour speed capabilities. The second component of the powertrain is a 7.1 kilowatt-hour modular battery pack, this battery could last for up to 128 miles in the city mode, while the performance mode would slash the range to 73 miles. The Recon powertrain raises the output to 29 kilowatts, 70 pound-feet of torque, while the top speed reaches 92 miles per hour. Besides a performance boost, you get a 10.3 kilowatt-hour battery pack that can last between 106 and 190 miles depending on your riding style. Regardless of the powertrain option, you get an upside-down telescopic fork with a diameter of 41 mm, a rear monoshock with preload adjustments, hydraulic disc brakes with dual-channel Bosch ABS, 
three-level regenerative braking system, and a park assist feature. Lastly, Ultraviolet prides itself for the superior connectivity of the bike and a smart user interface with a bright TFT display. In order to celebrate the first deliveries of this model, the brand announced a 77-unit limited edition run. This unique bike will generate 30.2 kilowatts of output and 73 pound-feet of torque. Its 0 to 60 mile per hour acceleration is recorded at 7.8 seconds, while the electrified sprint could take you to the speed of up to 95 miles per hour. This model has an estimated riding range of 190 miles and comes with a standard fast charger that adds 45 miles after every hour of charging. At this year's EICMA Motor Show in Milan, this Indian manufacturer has presented an even meaner version of their ultraviolet bike. Having received the F99 nameplate, this superbike features a carbon fiber bodywork and lightweight frame components that help lower the curb weight to just 392 pounds. With a 90 kilowatt electric motor, the F99 needs just 3 seconds to reach the 60 mile per hour speed, while the top speed is estimated at 165 miles per hour. Ultraviolet execs also announced the use of an air shield and air blade technologies that redirect the airflow to achieve better performance results. Today, as Zero Motorcycles is looking for fresh ways to spruce up their model offering, the company's execs decided to reach out to Huge Design once again and potentially replicate the previous collaboration success. This time, Huge Design presented their unique take on Zero's SRS Electric Sports Tourer. The resulting SRX concept features design elements commonly seen in both Street Fighter and track motorcycles. As mentioned by the concept creators, the concept aimed at combining clean lines and disciplined design details with the aggressive stance and extreme performance found in today's leader bikes. In terms of looks, this semi-fared concept bike received a silver paint job with red accents, a snub-nosed silhouette, and a Tron-like light bar that gives off science fiction vibes. As for the technical setup, the Base Zero's SRS remained mostly unchanged. It's powered by the brand's most advanced ZF7510 electric motor, and ZF 17.3 lithium-ion battery pack. This powertrain puts out 80 kilowatts and 140 pound-feet of torque, letting you sprint to the top speed of 124 miles per hour. With great power comes great responsibility. That is why the bike is equipped with high-performance Brembo brakes and a fully adjustable Showa suspension. Hyperfighter Colossus is the most powerful model that the Canada's Damon Motorcycles has produced to date. Just like other motorcycles by the brand, this Street Fighter will be built on the Hyperdrive platform. This monocoque multivariant platform was specially designed to mass-produce motorcycles of different classes. This limited-edition two-wheeler is brought into motion by means of an electric, oil-cooled motor capable of generating 150 kilowatts of power and 173 pound-feet of torque. The power unit draws its energy from a lithium-ion battery pack that is paired to an active thermal management system. As a result, it can withstand great loads, especially when you're trying to hit the announced 170 mile per hour top speed mark. The battery's 20 kilowatt hour capacity will let you travel for up to 146 miles in the combined cycle. It will also support level one, level two, and DC fast charging. So with the most powerful recharging option, you can get back on the road in about 45 minutes. A list of other significant features found in this model includes a smart co-pilot system that uses radars and cameras to give you useful safety warnings on the road, as well as a shift system that raises or lowers handlebars and foot pegs to achieve the most comfortable riding position. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new overviews in the comment section below. Thanks once again and till next time.